welcome back to my channel my name is wangishi munene your personal development cheerleader <laughs> i know i didn't forget that one but welcome to my channel i hope you guys are doing great i hope you guys are doing good i hope you guys are washing your hands sanitizing and uh, spending time with family feeding yourself positivity i also hope you've subscribed to this channel and um Personally, I'm doing well. I'm doing great. I'm getting enough time to at least uh, create content and teach myself. At least I'm teaching the people around me how to manage working from home since that's my daily routine. Although I'm kind of struggling. Sometimes I struggle with motivation because before I used to have like a whole schedule, you know, I, I know this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I'm supposed to do. And then all of a sudden, just because people are at home and those who do a nine to five they're at home and of course some practices you can't work from home so all you have to do is just like stay at home so i'm kind of being i'm kind of getting that contagious uh, laziness like that chilling chilling mood <laughs> of which i'm not supposed to be chilling because my, my work is still on so i don't have a break for now and i'm grateful yeah i'm grateful um Today I want to share with you about sabotage and you hear this word so many times it's like you know when you make goals and then you have like a whole plan this is what's going to happen this is what's going to happen next and then you do something maybe consciously or unconsciously to just like prevent yourself from achieving your goal it's like you prepare for a marathon but you shoot yourself on the leg <laughs> you know so it's th this is what I call like self-sabotage you like prevent yourself from achieving goals so i'm going to give you a few reasons why we sabotage you know when you know something's why you know why something is happening at least you can be able to control it or you can be able to know how you're going to stop it or uh, change you you can be able you, you will know you'll know where you're going to make a change yes so so when you talk about sabotage how do we sabotage ourselves I think the most uh, thing that uh, is about self-sabotage is procrastination. We only we procrastinate a lot and we sabotage our dreams, we sabotage your goals. And another way how we sabotage is um, overthinking and overreacting. You know, you overthink something, you overreact about something, and then you just sabotage something that was meant to go well, you know, by overthinking. And then also it's, uh, you can sabotage through self-medication so self-medication is taking drugs smoking drinking and all that and also like the the interpersonal conflict we have within ourselves which is mostly like negative thoughts and um, low confidence in ourselves just self-doubt and all that so that's how most of us procrastinate but i think most of us uh, lie in the procrastination part and maybe self-medicating part yes and even overthinking actually yeah so i'm going to give you just a few reasons why we self we self sabotage you can watch this video till the end and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section below so let's get straight into the video <laughs> comes with not believing in yourself of course if you don't believe in yourself you don't expect to achieve anything if you're doing something in and at the back of your mind you're thinking oh will i be able to succeed in this you know those doubts those statements that you tell yourself in your mind that you're doubting yourself like you can't achieve something maybe you said oh i'm going to save a million this year or you said um i'm going to travel this year and then you're like oh will i really be able to save up and and spend this amount of money like traveling like holding a pen and going somewhere so that self-doubt is what is making you not to achieve what you want to do you know what we tell ourselves and what we say what we what you say what you put out out there is very powerful because what you say what you think comes back to you you know you are your, you're a product of your thoughts and it's important to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself you're sabotaging yourself number two is fearing success so achieving success or when you want to achieve something let's say the same example i've given okay you want maybe financial freedom 
and of course it's scary like the plan of getting financial freedom is scary it comes with a lot of sacrifices it comes with a lot of hard work a lot of uh, planning and following through goals and tracking yourself and sometimes it can become stressful so you can become very stressful and then you start fearing that success and then it makes you not to uh, go towards what you wanted to do a good example is when i started i really i, I really wanted to start youtube like uh, since last year and i said you know what let me first do igtv videos and then i'm going to like ease my way through youtube and so i started making videos so i started making videos i used to uh, at least put out at least a video every week on igtv and I started getting really good feedback. So I got really good feedback. I was happy and I was so inspired to make more content. But at the same time, I felt like, oh, I felt like, you know what? I'm giving people this kind of advice or I'm directing people to do this. And myself, I'm suffering. So most of the people used to come to me because of uh, maybe depression or anxiety or just trying to discover your purpose. And me putting out whatever I was putting out was uh, just things that I also wanted to do. I was doing them, but I was struggling to like maintain a consistent routine in just to make them stick, you know. So when I shared and people think like I'm a guru, okay, I can't say like I, I'm not, I don't know what I'm saying. Of course, I know what I'm saying, but I'm not a guru per se. So everything I was sharing was from my experience from what i have done so when people were approaching me i felt like oh my god what if what if i'm not qualified enough what if uh i'm giving people bad advice what if i you know this is not the success is not mine you know what if it just what ifs what ifs i just had so many what ifs and those what ifs made me stop making the videos because i felt like i'm suffering myself i'm struggling myself with my mental health there's no way I can be in a position to help another person. So that shut me down. So just fearing, I feared success. I feared that uh, pe more people will be coming to me for advice or more people will be, you know, talking to me and sharing their, their experiences and I won't know what to tell them. So that made me shut down and I feared success. And now looking back at it, if I was just consistent and just ignored that, that low self-worth voice inside me, I would have been very far. I would have probably transitioned into YouTube and started a long time ago but anyway no regrets I'm here now and I'm grateful for where I am now and there's no self-doubt that is making me stop anytime soon so the same for you don't make fear of success make you sabotage yourself if you want control wanting control when you are like a control freak you want to like you want everything to go as planned you want everything to go the way it is and that's not how the world works that's not how life works you know sometimes things happen out of the blues and you're just like what the hell is this like your plans don't go the way you, you wanted them to 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 go and so for a control freak that can be very triggering and when you want something to go a certain way and it doesn't it kind of shuts you down and you don't want to try again or you're discouraged from doing something else so you wallow in that uh, failing just that failing aura because you're a control freak so and then also being controlling things uh, comes with you want to control an outcome of something so you tell yourself certain things just to be comfortable you know you're like um, anyway it won't fail you're just like uh, it won't succeed you're just like ah, that thing won't succeed anyway many people are nini are doing a beauty beauty whatever People are doing a beauty business or beauty beauty vlogs and you're just there and you're like you know what even if i start maybe i won't fail so you're giving yourself that uh, negative outcome so that to control your feelings so that you don't like get disappointed disappointed and in the real sense you are disappointed so feeling in control wanting to be in control sometimes you sabotage yourself and like when you're a free mind a free spirit and you're like you know what if something doesn't go as planned that's okay you know so being wanting to always be in control makes you to sabotage yourselves also number four is fear of failure fear of failure actually is the like biggest form of uh self
self-sabotage. So you want to try something, you want to achieve that financial freedom, you want to start that business, you want to ask for a promotion, but that fear creeps in, you know, you, you're fearing, I don't know, you fear what people think, you fear maybe you'll be rejected, or maybe you fear you're good, not good enough, you know, and that's a, like a very, very, very big influencer of not, of sabotaging yourself, you know, fear it's good to like fear something it's normal you know when a child is born and you know when someone comes behind you and scares you you you'll be you'll be startled so fear is something that's inborn it's in us but the ability to fear through it you you feel the fear but do it anyways so if you fear something just feel the fear yes it's going to be there but do it anyways and you'll be surprised that you, that fear was just something that was coming to like cripple you and it was it was necessary yes but if you fear through it, you will succeed and you will stop yourself from sabotaging yourself most of the times. So when people people fearing is familiarity. So familiarity is when you're used to certain uh, to a certain environment, you're used to a specific surroundings. So you if something like has been consistent in your life, like people have been putting you down, ignoring you, neglecting you, and all that, and you just choose to wallow in that negativity that has been there so you choose to just stick with the devil you know than choosing the angel you don't know and the angel in this case is breaking yourself out of sabotaging yourself so if you're used to people neglecting you people just uh you let like to madarao and not believing in you so you just you believe it also yourself if something has been consistent in your life like you people have been neglecting you people have been abusing you people have been exploiting you not believing in you sometimes you find yourself like believing it you believe it yourself so you find yourself also doing the same thing to yourself so whatever people are throwing at you you keep it and you believe it and you run with it and sometimes remaining in that negativity that people are throwing at you makes you to sabotage yourself maybe you, you your, your abilities are very like strong you can be able to succeed in all the things you've always wanted to do but whatever people are tell, telling you, you believe it, and then you stuck. You stuck in that, in the same same place of negativity. So if you break from that familiar pattern, that familiar environment that you put yourself in, at least you're going to stop sabotaging yourself and your goals. Six is scapegoat mentality. So scapegoat mentality is where you're blaming others or you're blaming certain situations for your failure instead of blaming yourself. For example, let's say you failed in a test you failed in a test so the reason you're giving yourself uh, for failing in the test you're like you know what the lecturer wasn't audible enough that handout was too big ah that topic was too hard that's why i failed or you just say like ah you know what i didn't study enough i only studied for the test yesterday night for a few hours so that's the reason you're giving yourself you did not study enough or maybe the subject was too hard but what's the real reason why you failed in that test the reason in why you failed in that test maybe is because you don't believe in yourself why are you saying the topic is hard so you don't believe that you can understand whatever you 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 were taught or whatever is in that uh, topic or exam so you're giving yourself other reasons instead of looking inside yourself and seeing why what why is what's the real reason what's the real reason why you're failing at whatever you're failing or what's the real reason why you're not going towards your goals it's because you you have this scapegoat mentality of blaming other things you've always wanted to start youtube you're blaming you oh your camera is bad you don't have uh, you don't have this equipment you don't have this equipment um what if I, uh, maybe you say you're not fluent you're just giving yourself reasons but the main reason is you're doubting yourself you're not confident in yourself you don't believe in yourself and that's the main reason so you look inside yourself if you have that scapegoat mentality and that's that makes you to sabotage yourself like in a very very big way seven is victim mentality so the victim mentality is when something goes wrong and you feel sorry for yourself which is normal so you something goes wrong you feel bad for yourself and then instead of like uh, like bouncing back or just moving on to the next you wallow in that self-pity like for some time and then you start resorting to some comforting behaviors that's where now the 
self medication comes in you you don't you sit down you start drinking you start smoking you know you have start having random sex you start uh, binge eating and stuff like that just to comfort yourself so when you have that victim mentality you're always when something goes each time something goes wrong you want to wallow in that self-pity and telling yourself oh my god i didn't succeed in this what's wrong with me what's wrong with me and stuff like that so you you find yourself uh, resorting to that comforting behavior you start locking yourself in and binge watching movies instead of just like going back to the drawing board and is like you know what i failed at this uh this is where i went wrong this is how i'm going to correct it and instead of doing that you just wallow in that self-pity and you know something about you know when people tell you to exercise and make it makes you your dopamine levels to go up and dopamine uh, is like that happy hormone but also the same thing in self-medicating it also gives you the it also gives you dopamine so i call this the false dopamine so when you're in your comfort zone and you're drinking or you're smoking you're feeling that false happiness it's like you you know you it's like you're rewarding yourself or which is not a reward in the real sense you're just like destroying yourself and you're sabotaging yourself so you're taking time out of uh the time that you were supposed you you could use to um like correct something and you know plan yourself better and keep on keeping on you know yeah so if you have that victim mentality of always oh cry little too way 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 all the time just you're you're sabotaging yourself so you know be strong if something things go wrong all the time things go wrong all the time and you just need to like pick up yourself it's good to feel sorry for yourself but just pick up yourself honey and go move on keep on working hard keep on doing you being you and you'll be surprised at how much you can achieve in a short time and you will be on your route to not sabotaging yourself so these are a few things that uh, make us sabotage ourselves and i think mainly we sabotage ourselves because we need to figure our life together i have a video on that so i will link it in the description box yeah you can start you, i have given you five steps on how you can start getting your life together so thank you so much guys to watching till to, till the end thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end i am grateful and i hope you to see you next week with another video if you have any questions any remarks please feel free to comment in the comment section below like this video remember to subscribe and follow me on instagram at wangeshi monene thank you guys i'll see you next week